Hmm. A few people have asked me now about what happened to the actual van. Is it fixed? Well, yes, Pepper seems to be fixed. So what was the issue, Booty? What was the issue? Turns out that when the vehicle was prepped originally, they removed the ad blue, but they didn't chip it. So if I've got the story right here, they didn't chip it or mod it or remap it. And a couple came to buy the van, came to look at it and said, we really like the van. We'll sort out the remap off the tunnel into the sunset with my little Pepper. To cut a long story short, we took it back to where I, not where I bought it, but where they got it from, the guy who removed the ad blue. And um, he downloaded the remap and sent it off to Mr. Remap, whoever that is, the guy in the industry who writes all these remaps. It went back to him. He downloaded it, looked at all the lines of code, came back and went, what a load of boat locks. Somebody has royally screwed up here. It turns out that half the remap was the original remap and the second half was the new one or vice versa one or the other so what does that actually mean well it meant that the van basically didn't know what it was doing it was over fueling constantly thinking it was getting ready to do the burn off or the, uh, is it the dpf filter it basically clogs that up gets up to 600 degrees and it burns out all the smoke and all the crap and everything else like that well because the dpf is removed and the sensors hadn't been done properly the van was saying it's time to do the remap, it's time to do the burn, it's time to do the burn. But then the other half of the remap was saying, well, you don't need to because it's been removed, blah, 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 blah. So it got itself into a vicious cycle. So it was constantly overfueling, which is why when I was driving, I was getting really bad sore throat. It's carcinogenic, it's not good for you. And it was pumping out smoke all the time. Now, touch wood, it's fixed. I've been all the way over to Wales, I've probably done about 300 miles so far and I've had no issues and the smell of fuel has actually started to disappear. It also turns out that the van had been on what's called uh, a MAP3, so it was driving a lot faster than it should do, supposedly on economy as well. And I said to him, look, well I didn't actually say, my mate Steve decided for me, put it back to factory, put everything back to factory. I'm not bothered about zipping around faster, there's a reason that the van is set up in a certain way when you buy it. And I'll put it back to that, so if I have any problems in the future, at least we can say we haven't messed around with it too much. It's back at this, it's back to default, we're not over revving it, we're not doing this, we're not whizzing around like a numb nuts around Bradford or Leeds. And touch wood, it's fixed. So thank you to everybody who came out and said, what's happening with the van? Show me some support. A lot of people, a lot of people thought it was the turbo. Well, we had the turbo reconditioned didn't fix it even though the first garage said there's nothing wrong with it can't find anything wrong with it second garage oh it's bound to be turbo it's turbo we'll re get it reconditioned had a fallout with where i bought the van but i'm not going to go into that so needless to say i think it's fixed if i have any issues now with this burning and smell thing then i really am going to be in a bad place because i've tried so hard to get all this working and fixed hence me coming on a little trip today so thank you to everybody who's asked me questions about the van and what's happening with it. Touch wood, it's working. And this little trip has been brilliant because it means I've had the opportunity to find out how I enjoy the van life, things I want to change, things I want to do, things that annoy me, things that are brilliant about van life. And I will, at the end of this series of videos, while I'm here in Wales for another seven days, I will go through at the end one video, everything I've learned, everything I want to change, hints and tips for you if you're thinking of getting off and not only for a weekend, but if you're going to go off on a longer trip. And we'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, I'm starting to get into a beautiful part of the forest now. So, enough of that. Thank you to everybody. Well, this is random. I've decided to go wild swimming.